We have the beautiful, the talented queen, Miss Yvette Nicole Brown on the show. How are you doing? Hey, I'm good. Y'all see me playing with my ring light right quick. I was like, do I give him the warm hue or do I give him a little blue light? I was give, playing with it a little bit. I'm good. Give us the glow. <laughs> Glow. Just give me a little something. How y'all doing? We doing well. We doing good. We just uh, honored to have you on our show today. I had to see if you can see my background. Oh, oh I see. Right can, I mean, I don't know why I can't stay up there. It could have been oh, Akron, yeah. University of Akron. Oh, you could have given me a little love. Oh, oh, oh I didn't know. That. Didn't know. University I'm, of Akron. Go Zips. But I do oh, see the yeah. Browns back there. Nicely yeah. done. God, you yeah. can't talk trash to the guests. Well, she's a zip. <laughs> You know, oh, yeah. I had to, you know, throw that out there. Oh, we got a bad connection, you guys. Sorry. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, no, no. I can't hear you. What part of Cleveland are you from? I'm originally from East Cleveland. So, like, Angela Mia's Pizza to East oh, Cleveland? Oh, yes. Angela Mia's oh. Pizza. I'm talking about Mayfair, Euclid, 4th Ave. Oh, oh yeah. Road. What high school? Warrensville Heights. I, I moved there when I was in fifth grade, but oh, um, I went okay. to Maker Elementary and Scope Focus back when I was in East Cleveland. Do you come back often? I take care of my dad out here in, in LA now. So um, because I'm his full-time caregiver, I can't come back as much as I used to. But I used to be back like two or three times a year because I love home. Home is, you know, y'all know, those from Cleveland yes. know Cleveland is real. Like if you want to know where you stand, who's your real friend, where the love is, you got to go to Cleveland. That's it's, that's, home. that's like my heart. That's my heart. Yeah. Right. For all the young ladies that might be watching you right now want to know how you got started and if you give them any advice to the steps that you took to get to where you are today. I started out as a singer. I was discovered by Michael Bivens from New Edition. I was in the East Coast family way back when. I'm so old, you guys. East Coast family. Yeah. Hey. yeah. You know what's up. MC Brands, yes. all that from Cleveland. I then moved to LA after college at the University of Akron. Shout out to the Zips. Moved to LA and started doing commercials and uh, you know auditioning. And I did a, a touring play for a while, a David E. Talbert play, His Woman, His Wife. Did that for a year, then started doing commercials. Then I got Girlfriends. Then I did a Kevin Hart sitcom. And then it just kind of took off from there. But the main advice I would give anyone trying to, to do anything in entertainment or maybe just in life, you got to live below your means. You have yeah. to be professional and kindness matters because people have very long memories and you don't want to be, you, the person you think doesn't matter, I promise you they do. And the point is wow. everybody matters. Mm. So just be decent yes. and you'll go far. Mm. Any projects that you have going on right now that you want to tell our viewers to catch you on? The main thing is a movie that I wrote on, um, that's streaming on Netflix, it's called Always a Bridesmaid. It's a oh. black romantic comedy. It's full of melanin, it's just delicious. But then I also have a kids game show on Disney Plus called The Big Fib, which is like to tell the truth for kids. And then I have something that's not for kids. It's a show on that's streaming. I know. On we, we saw it. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, Crossing I tried. Yes, Cross the Swords. I tried to tell everybody it is not it's for not children. It looks like right. it's for children. It is not for children. Do not do it. But that's streaming on Hulu. And then also um, Community, a show I did 10 years ago, is also streaming on Netflix. So I'm kind of popping up everywhere right now. I don't think we're going to be watching Bridesmaids tonight. Oh, yeah. But that's a movie. That's not a, that's not a series. It's, it's a, a movie, movie. Right? Always oh, Bridesmaid. Oh, yep, it's on Netflix. Well, yeah, you want to watch it. I know. Because can... I, I like the adult swim type. You yeah. know? Oh, you're going to love it. Oh, yeah. you know what? I'm going to say this, though. It might be a little much for you, even if you do love adult swim. We Ooh, go with it. Yeah, yeah. It's not. I seen the preview and I was laughing. Because of your comment yeah. that you said. You're saying something on yeah, there. I, uh -huh. I keep saying it because I think somebody, I need everybody to hear me. I don't want nobody to run in there by mistake with their children right. and have to explain some things. So, right, right. Yeah. I told yeah. my aunt that we were going to be interviewing you. She's like, girl, I love community. Tell uh, me like, oh, That's Lord, what's okay, up. All right. Tell Auntie I said, what's up? You played on so many things. Some of my, a lot of my great, you know, the shows that I'm a great fan of. Oh, uh, yeah. Talking, the Talking Dead. And yes. I, I know you was about to say, the office. Office. Yeah. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> I just love the, the many different roles you play. You That's know, right. some people get bogged down and, you know, they're one type of character and they only play that in every movie, but you've been every type of character in a lot of these movies right. and shows. Thank and um, I commend you on that. But throughout all your many shows that you've been on, which ones interest you more? You have more fun doing. Oh, Ooh, yeah. More fun doing. That's a tough one because sometimes it's fun because you like the character you're playing so much. Sometimes it's fun because of the castmates that you get to work with. Community is fun for the castmates. I mean, the, the writing and everything was wonderful as well, but that was a unique group of foolishness that I worked with every day. I call them wackos and yahoos, and I include myself <laughs> in that. We all would go out of our way to try to make each other laugh, and I think the silliness that we brought to the stage for each other is what translated um, to the show. So Community was very special for that reason. They rebooted The Odd Couple, and I did that with Matthew Perry and Thomas Lennon and Wendell Pierce for about 
for three or four years on CBS and the great Gary Marshall who created Happy Days and Laverne and Shirley, he was um, one of our producers. So I got to work with him and that made that experience special. So it all, you know, it all depends. You know, I'm, I'm as a kid from East Cleveland who didn't know anybody in the industry, I'm not even supposed to be working in this industry. You know what I'm saying? So I was just like, anytime I get a, t a chance to, to work, I'm just so grateful that it's all gravy for me.